Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and it's that time of the week again where we count down the top 10 hottest Magic the Gathering cards based on percentage increases. A lot of cards again moving because of Commander this week, we'll get into it. Just a quick reminder though, before we do start the video, if you go over to FlipSideGaming.com, you'll notice that their shipping delay notice is no longer on there. And if you want to pick something up, use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. And that not only will save you some money, but also support the channel at the same time, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Twin Cast. Three copies to talk about today. Saviors of Kamigawa goes up 74 cents to $6 for a 14% increase. Magic 2010 goes up 346 to 847 for a 69% increase. And 10th edition goes up 412 to 1022. That one is a 68% increase. Now this card is seeing increased commander play because of a new card, and that is going to be a common thread you're going to see throughout the video today. In this case, that new card is Kalamax the Stormsire. Number 9 is Freed from the Real. Saviors of Kamigawa goes up 251 to 499. That's a 101% increase. Masters 25 up 428 to $8 for a 115% increase. This combos with Zexara the Exemplary, and is also seeing some increased play in Kid and Bonder Prodigy builds. Number 8, Baron Master Wizard goes up 589 to 1050 for a 128% increase. Now this one's on the reserve list and it has been seeing some competitive commander play. An older card, harder to find in good condition, we know it's not going to be reprinted, it began to dry up in the marketplace. When that type of thing happens, people notice and there was a lot of chatter on message boards last week how this card is drying up in the marketplace. That was enough to make it dry up to the point that you saw this kind of spike. Now, a competitive commander, a lot of people are playing this with cards like Dockside Extortionist, Gilded Drake. It's also seeing some play in more traditional commander decks, things like Anala, Animar, Maldrotha. And it is a good card to play with Mutate as well, because you can go ahead and return a Mutate stack to your hand, and then play it again to get those triggers a second time. So there are folks throwing this in a Luna Apex of Wishes decks as well. Number 7, Greater Good. Battle Bond goes up $1.99 to $7.80. That's a 34% increase. Urza Saga up $801 to $1401 for a 133% increase. Ninth Edition is up $9.59 to $16.99 for a 130% increase. So this one, again, is seeing some more play because of a newer card that's out there. This is showing up in Nethrai Apex of Death builds, and beyond that, it's just a solid card. Number six is Extract, up $9.61 to $14 for a 219% increase this week. This is a card that you'll find many times in the first sliver food chain builds in Commander. Also, food chain strategies are seeing some more play with the partner commanders, Kazura Ruthless Stalker, and Okima Stalking Shadow. Number five is Cephalid Constable, Judgment up $12.66 to $19.50. That's a 185% increase. Tenth edition goes up $13.22 to $21.69 for a 156% increase. So this is another card seeing some additional play in Commander with a new card. This time the new card is Oh Try Me the Ever Playful. That card and this one combo well together. Number four is Hermit Druid going up 1518 to 3250 this week. That is an 88% increase. And this is another card seeing more play with Nethroi Apex of Death. Number three, Primordial Hydra Magic 2012 goes up 1541 to 3208. That's a 92% increase. Magic 2013 of 1554 to 3292, that one is an 89% increase. And right now, a lot of people are putting together Hydra decks and Commander because of a new card, Zixara the Exemplary. As a matter of fact, if you watched Commander Versus last week, that was one of the featured decks. Number two is Brand. It goes up $17.81 to $20.35. That is a 702% increase if you're doing the math at home. So here's a case of a card that's just dried up. Maybe it's a targeted buyout. Granted, cycling is more popular right now because you do have Gavi Nest Warden and a lot of folks are building around that card. And you do have a lot of copies of Agent of Treachery that are just out there generally. So maybe some people were picking this up because they were sick of their friends using Agent of Treachery on them at the commander table. That could have started the snowball here. But obviously, once the inventory gets lower, and we've been talking about it for weeks now, until some of the big sellers get back into the online marketplace, inventories are going to dry up, supply is going to be diminished, and that's going to result in more of these type of spikes. 
Number one is Repercussion. It goes up 2418 to 3848 for a 169% increase. Another card that's good in Commander that dried up. This did get a mention on the Command Zone podcast last week, so that could be part of the reason that more attention was on this card. A lot of players are putting this in their Obosh, the Prey Piercer builds right now. Also, it's been good for a while in Torbrand, Thane of Red Fell builds. And earlier in the week, Blasphemous Act began to go up in value a little bit. That also could have reminded some people of this card. All right, another episode of the Top 10 Hottest Cards of the Week is in the books. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.